Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, so in this video, we're gonna look at the Air Force One Mid Denim. Colorway white denim. Uh, this pair is from 2001. So you have the classic old orange box from that era. Um, they did do the mid denim in 2002, but uh, I think there's some slight differences. I don't have that pair, so you can only look at these. But uh, yeah, this is the first production of the white denim mid. Let's pull the kicks out. Have a look. So it's definitely a nice, clean colorway. The all white, beautiful all white leather on the upper. And then navy and denim accents. The shoe is, uh, this pair is in dead sock condition. This shoe has never even been laced up. I don't even think on Velcro. Um, still got the, the sticker in there. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. But yeah, there's still the square sticker that they used to put on. Um, super clean colorway. Uh, so you have, obviously this, this uh, nice white, white leather upper, very soft and not like a premium buttery soft, but um, it's definitely that same type of leather you used to find on Nikes from this era. It's just like a thick, good quality, simple leather that was just standard back then that uh, we honestly took for, took, uh, for granted because nowadays you never get this this type of leather on shoes for Nikes. Maybe, you know, some, but not many. Sometimes they'll do premium releases with leather, you know, obviously it's a little better than this, but um, yeah, it's just a, just a well-crafted shoe. Um, yeah, so this, this one, is, I've tried on this one when I first bought them. I, I tried this one on, um, but I yeah I didn't wear them at all. You can still I mean you can see like definitely it creases quick, which you know is normal for for shoes with good quality leather. You'll get these like little little creases here, uh, little wrinkles, but you don't get that like big cardboard bend or the whole shoe is like bent upwards that you get with uh, the stuff they're using nowadays. Um, close up on that leather, or that denim, there we go. Yeah, super, super nice. Denim feels soft. It's, it's, uh, it's rolled over. Um, and then you have a gold accent stitching and a gold Nike Air on the back. And, uh, yeah, so, pull this out. The tongue, uh, Nike Air there. And then tongue leather is is nice, but you can feel it's a little more synthetic than the stuff down here. This just feels like leather. This has, I mean, it's like soft, but it has that same, you know, where something comes off almost. It feels like some sort of synthetic chemical uh, feel to it, which Seems very common nowadays. Um, and then, yeah, you have um, that classic Air Force One in the middle or inside in there, that logo. There it is. Um, leather on these is, uh, it's just 
yellowed just slightly. Just a slight yellowish tint to it. Not sure why that's not focusing. Um, which kind of it's kind of nice, obviously. I like a little bit of a yellow tint, you know, nothing too yellow. I don't really like I'm not into like pre-yellowing my shoes to make it look vintage when they're not, you know, I don't know. Some people are into that, but if it's if it's vintage, it's vintage. If it's not, it's not. But um yeah, the, a huge difference with these is, um, you know, the leather is one thing, but the shape is is that athletic shape. You used to get that on all these Air Force ones back in the day. The fit is, you know, much more narrow. You get like a, um, you know, this right here is, is much more apart. Um, so when you tie them tight, they're not like almost together. There's just not... Air Force Ones nowadays, there's just so much mass of shoe, like just so much, it seems like just bulky and clunky. When you wear them, you know, they kind of don't really like change shape. These, you put them on, like the whole, all the leather is just wrapped to your foot. You know, it's it's a much more secure, um, tighter fit. So you could, you know, you could unstrap them, you know, unlace them and they'd still be, you know, kind of hugging your foot. Um, and they don't look bulky on the feet. You know, they look like a classic athletic shoe on your foot. Um, you know, something slimmer, more dialed down, not like the clunkier, bulkier lifestyle fit they're, they're using nowadays. But um, you'll see like this part is much lower profile. Maybe this is a better angle, but. Yeah, it's just like a, a lower profile shoe and you have a very, um, you know, narrow here. And these classic old ones, they, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of, it's like narrow and then it kind of comes up a little bit when you get here. And then it's just rounded out, you know, like rounds out. So from, you know, afar, it's not like a squared, squared look. It looks like a nice rounded kind of like tennis shoe look. That makes sense not like an actual tennis shoe but like you know back in the day when they'd call athletic shoes all just tennis shoes but yeah i mean putting them on you know they feel like a you could hoop in them you know super um super secure to the foot not a bunch of extra space like nowadays they have this toe box is so so bulky you get all this like extra material like extra leather it just like really gets a big crease in it, big old like cardboard like bend. And yeah, I mean, after, you know, wearing them, they just get worse. And these, you know, after wearing them, they'll just look better. You know, they'll look broken in, kind of like that classic Nike look. It's, I really wish they would bring this stuff back. I'm sure this, you know, the profit margin is much slimmer on these um, compared to what they're they're making nowadays, but close up So, um, yeah, I mean, not much more to say about these. They also had lows. They came out with the, um, with the lows. I have some, I made like a berry smoothie and I hope I don't have any berry juice on my fingers. It's rubbing off on these. That would not be good. But, um, yeah, they had, they had, uh, lows that came out also around the same time. Um. I remember I was like in sixth or seventh grade and I remember seeing them. I got the black, some black or red Air Forces instead. I was, the denim, the denim was in, you know, back in the early 2000s, people were, you know, the denim jackets, the denim jean jacket combo. Not so much anymore. And that's why I think you can find these actually for a pretty good deal. You know, a lot of times 
you'll see used pairs or you know even dead stock pairs will show up and they're not this they don't hold the same value as um some of the other colorways that came out around that time so um yeah i mean i i think it's a good pair to you know get if you want that classic air force one fit and look but you don't want to pay you know 500 plus or 400 plus dollars for a pair um you know you can find used pairs for what much cheaper but yeah it's definitely it's definitely a different fit i mean you can see how much space is here to here um so when you put them on you know you tie them up and it, it keeps that much space rather than having nowadays shoes nikes are just so they have so much more width here and like width here and this is like more narrow um but yeah it's great looking shoe Let's see if i can get the right angle over here you can see that i don't know why this thing keeps on focusing in this like shape right there is super nice but um yeah i think this is kind of the last year before the air force one kind of started to change um you got uh you know they were still doing the athletic fit in 2001 2002 air force ones are just nearly as good um not as i think it's not as slim not as the same shape completely um but it seemed like two, something happened in 2002, maybe 2003 is when they started going to more of the lifestyle look, uh, the bulkier look, um, kind of more casual Air Force One. Uh, that's kind of when the Air Force One blew up in popularity. I mean, they were popular for sure before, but you know, the, the Air Force One song came out and um, you know, they, they just became really popular. And once that demand goes up, quality unfortunately seems to go down. They started, you know, they changed the shape. Um, 2003 and after, 2003, the leather was still really nice, you know, good stuff, but, um, you know, then and kind of thereafter, the, the shape changed and never really went back to this athletic style of Air Force One. And um, yeah, I don't even know why they don't even bring it out occasionally, you know, charge a higher price and, you know, maybe do this because you know, they'll, they'll make a premium version, but it's not this like athletic fit to it. You know, it's, it's still that kind of bulkier uh, look. And then they, they had the 07 shape. They came out with that in 07 and there, you know, from there on, it was just a much different looking Air Force One. So I'm gonna do, check out a vid. I'm gonna post it probably here in the next week, two weeks, couple weeks, um, just about kind of maybe the transition to the Air Force One. 2000, 2001, 2003, or two and three, um, kind of the shape differences. But yeah, I mean, 2001, these ones didn't have any real contour back here. They made, made each pair different, um, you know, but, uh, you know, these are, you know, definitely not the identical uh, shape of the OG Air Force ones, but they definitely still retain that uh, athletic fit, which is, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, for, these are still wearable. I can feel my air bubble is still, it's not cracked in their airbag. Um, girl I bought these from, she, I think they were part of her dad's collection and they just literally have been sitting. You can tell other pairs from her I bought, they, uh, they all have that sticker still on them inside and they just have not even been, you can tell with the mids, Air Force One mids, if somebody's, like these, I brought this back here. You get like a, a little bit of a wrinkle here. Um, but when they're not even touched, you get just a clean, a clean strap, like super fresh. So they were, I think they were sort of a very dry climate. So it wasn't a lot of humidity, um, which is nice, which kind of preserves the shoes. Yellow, you get the yellowing, but you definitely get more of a preservation of, um, the airbags and uh, you know, you'll get eventually the airbag up front and the mids dries out, you know, deteriorates and this will, this whole mid front will be super soft and like sagged down. But 
uh, yeah, these are good for now. I might, I might start wearing them. I don't know um, if I can get like, another pair, I will. But uh, thank you guys for checking out the video. Hope you liked it. Uh, I'm going to post some more Air Force One vids soon. So check those out. And uh, hope you guys have a nice day.